Right, so we're in the new series, Intermediate Series 2, with the AMG SLS. And uh, this car is a very beautiful car, but it's also slightly more difficult to, uh, to race as it's a bit like the McLaren, it's a little heavy, and that requires us to be patient with the braking and to make sure we're using it to our strengths and not playing to our weaknesses. So going quickly ahead of the two BMWs, going around, Oh my goodness, I had to, to steer and that prevented me from braking all the way that I needed to. So that allowed uh, kind of an advantage for everyone else to get around us. Now the X-Bow is way ahead of us and we really need to maintain our speed to be able to get there. So we, oh happily the BMW leaves us space. That might help us to get into contention. Unfortunately, we fender bend and that means that we are struggling to maintain position and that means that also our tires are probably not as sticky as we want them to be. But let's continue, let's not get discouraged here. As we continue, uh, let's brake ahead early because we know that our car is slightly heavy and try and get ahead of that BMW as quickly as we can. Now, we want our goal, our objective is to hit the X-Bow and we definitely brake too much here. So that means that we're going to be losing in position. So we're trying to get at least in third position but we're in sixth position right now. That is a difficult battle ahead. So we're going to try to maintain this, the speediest route available at the moment, which is um, around this car, I suppose, and uh, battling along the straight, we definitely have the acceleration advantage on this guy, so we're just going to make sure that we have the right speed to negotiate this turn. This turn's a, kind of a uh, challenging one for us as our car is a little bit heavier and we just need to make sure that we're maintaining it. But the maneuverability of this car is quite acceptable. I actually do like this car. It's a pretty car. And as we can see, we're uh, able to maintain traction in most circumstances, even though it's a little heavier. So we do have the power advantage on this one as well, which lets us think that we might be able to proceed and hit the other person ahead. We just will need to make sure that we don't exaggerate on the throttle and only hit at the right moments. Now, according to my previous race, which I completely missed this in, this is a long, uh, uh, tight corner version of the track. So that means that we will have to break a little bit earlier than even what we did there. And uh, if we had done so, we might have been able to gain some speed, but otherwise we will lose out on that. So I just want to be careful with my traction, that I don't exaggerate with what I'm doing. Probably should have been on second gear now, and we are already shifting to fourth gear. So we're going to maintain all this, use all the uh, possible engine power that we have to keep this beautiful machine going. And we're going to break a little bit early and uh, shift quickly to try to get around people on the track by using our braking advantage and uh, using that to our benefit to gain positions here as people are braking ahead of us. We just want to make sure that we're using the ideal line to get as quickly as possible past those that are slower than us, the oh dear, so that we can uh, maintain the right position and the right sort of speed that we need to get back on track. Now I'm very sorry for having bumped into that guy. I really shouldn't, I really should have made a clean race and I really should have known if he was going to turn that's entirely on me. I should not have been in his way, and that was not my place to be right then and there. But um, unfortunately, things happen. That was a very bad incident, so let's not repeat that in the future. Trying to maintain as much speed as we can, remembering our lesson from last time, we want to be able to, sh to make sure to rotate. I like how this car rotates. It rotates quite well, and um, I think that's a front-end car. It's more of a classic. Uh, positioning there. So let's not shift too quickly, but also let's make sure that we're accelerating quickly enough, but not too fast, and doing the ideal line. So in high pursuit of the next car, we're in third position out of 10. That does mean we get a medal, which is exactly what we're looking for in this type of scenario, and that means that we are in a good place at the moment. So we just need to make sure that we don't miss any braking zones and don't do anything crazy and we should be good, although we did go a little light on the braking, I suppose. So we see that our gas indicator is on. That should be perfect for us, as we are already on second lap out of four. It should go red on the final lap, in which case we are okay. So negotiating this turn, just make sure to give a little bit of lift, and then when we are looking at this braking zone here, we just want to brake a little bit early as the uh, Braking does require us to go quite around these two heavy curves. So let's make sure that we do a smooth rotation to this sector here. And that gives us a very nice lap indeed. 
not sure about the speed, obviously, but that doesn't matter so much as we are just trying to keep ahead of these two guys, and we're definitely gaining on the SLS previous to us and the Lotus is previous to us as well, the Lotus race car. Now, let's just make sure that we break at the right moment, and the right moment is about now, which is just before the last breaking card. And I have it shifted to second gear, and that was not early enough. We needed to break a little bit more early. Kind of missed the apex there, but it wasn't so bad. Again, this car kind of kind of generous on the mistakes that we make. I don't think it, it, it punishes us quite so badly, so I kind of like it for that. It's kind of an easy car to drive. I think that was a, a good braking zone right there. That was perfect to let go of the throttle right now and be able to rotate out. Okay, so that was very awkward to go around there. We should have stayed a little bit further from the curb at th that particular moment because that means we're damaging the underside of the car and we don't want to do that in a race. So maintaining the rotation uh, at such a point where we're going the full speed that we can and then keeping a momentum here around the track. Okay, the fact that we were closer to the right side means that we were quite not uh, going as fast as we could have because if we had maintained a momentum, we wouldn't have reached the inner side of the track. So that means that we need to go a little faster through there next time around. Now, this is a tricky sector. It seems like we tend to break a little late. But this was just about perfect, and we maintained a good acceleration to make sure we shift on time, but obviously we hit the apex on that one, so I'm quite happy with this. Now, as we go up this one, we kind of downshift to third to maintain our uh, speed at the correct speed. I think that um, it's a good idea to downshift as we're able to accelerate more quickly out of the turn. And in this case, we downshift to second. Trying that is a new thing. I don't think we need to downshift here, though. We just need to brake really earlier than we did at that point. And that, because we had to uh, kind of brake late, we obviously lost a lot of momentum in the process. That was OK. Uh, we're still in pursuit, but I think that we're, it seems like we're kind of losing the pursuit in this case. I'm just going to make sure we brake a little earlier than we did last time as uh, we did exceed our speed here, and that is it. That's about right. So make sure we don't hit the curb too hard. And there we go. That's going to be our end of the third lap and beginning of the fourth lap, which is the end lap in this case. So let's not get too excited. Let go of the brake too early. Should we get it? So I don't remember what the vehicle in front of us was. It could be this another SLS, but maybe the driver is better than we are. In which case, it wouldn't be surprising. Uh, talent does make a huge difference. So we're going to break a little bit earlier than we did last time. And I feel like I braked a little too early. But we still make it around. Probably because I also shifted earlier than I would have otherwise. And that means that uh, we are stopping earlier than we would have otherwise. So here we go. Good rotation around there. Just make sure to hit the brakes early enough. And in this case, we kind of do, I would say. Um, maybe a little bit sharp on the on the apex. There we go. Let it, just letting go of the throttle, re-accelerating. Okay, that felt good. Could have been a little quicker around this time. That will be perfect for now. And uh, making it to the next one, just braking slightly before the cones. Keeping it on the brakes and then on the throttle gradually. Here, just make sure that we don't brake too much, although it was too much on the edge of the track, so we don't have any choice but to brake, and that keeps us on the track at all times, which is always a good thing because if you fall in the grass, you can really lose control of your game. All right, so here, it's not uh, over rev. Oh my goodness, the uh, car is starting to go a little far. Perhaps it's not due to our driving, but also due to the tire degradation or other uh, reasons. So here, we're going to maybe braking was a little much, maybe downshifting was a little much, I'm not sure. We could have definitely maintained more speed through there. But that'll do just fine for now. And now into the last time we break here, let's just break just a little early and use our downshifts to control the speed and the separation between the downshifts to control how fast we are braking. So this one, we're just gonna make sure we break enough, maintain slow speed throughout the turn until we hit the apex and then start accelerating throughout, which keeps everything smooth and tidy. And then here, we're just gonna lift on the throttle a little bit and then keep going. We didn't have quite enough speed to make that too dangerous for us. Here we're going to brake a little earlier than we do usually. Uh, don't separate the gear shifts quite as much. We stayed on third gear, interesting. We now back to second gear. I guess the downshifting wasn't necessary, so I downshift straight between the two little curves. And then we go on their uh, last turn and making sure that we maintain the brake just a tiny bit, you know, releasing the brake slowly and then going towards the end of our lap. And it's going to be. 
Third place, that's good for us. Let's keep chugging along. 